PC3D. Hey, I'm back with a different kind of video. Um, so a while ago I was on a uh, Facebook forum and uh, sharing one of my prints. It got a lot of attention and that attention brought to me uh, somebody that asked if I wanted to uh, review their filament, try it out uh, and post a video, see what I thought. Sure. <laughs> I have lots of filament here, but I've always kind of stuck with two, three brands, and that's it. I've been doing uh, 3D printing for a year, so, hey, I'm really curious to see what else is out there. Is it good? Does it all kind of print the same? Um, is this going to do something more amazing than uh, some of the others I've used? We're going to find out. So, yeah, I'm going to switch to um, my desktop camera here. We're going to unpackage to see what it's uh, see what it's all about. Uh, stick it on the printer and uh, run some prints. Let's take a look. Alrighty. Well, here's the package I received. Uh, the company is Rep Wrapper. Um, haven't heard of them much before. They, they do offer their filament um, on Amazon, so that's where you can go get it. I'll put some links down below. Uh, but I received the package here on, on a sample of their, their filament, so let's uh, open it up and see what it's all about. There we go. It actually came very quick. I was told I should have it Sunday. Well, today is Thursday. It's here. Um, <clears throat> cool. Got a red box. Some links to their site. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok. Um, all right. This is the Rep Wrapper White PLA. Um, so, I asked for PLA, that's primarily what I um, I print with, so let's, uh, let's see what's in the box. Alright, cool. So, we've got uh, uh, Amazon promo code, so that's kind of cool. Um, another card here, um, you know, satisfaction card. And the filament. That's a pretty neat spool there. It's kind of like a marble color. Um, I've never seen anything like that. Um, it's white. PLA. Uh, recommended printing temperature is 190 to 240. Uh, I kind of got a note from uh, the company's representative to try it at 185. So um, typically my PLA settings are around 215 uh, by default on my machines. So uh, which will put us right in the middle uh, of this. But uh, we'll also try what's recommended by um, the representative. So um, looks good vacuum sealed so um one thing that uh that, that has been important to me is when i get it that it's sealed tight i've had a few spools um over the year that um you know that you've got it in the no vacuum seal on it it looks like it was supposed to be but it wasn't um <clears throat> they've had to dry out that filament um before using it so this is vacuum sealed tight which is good i, I have a, a brand i use now that um not all of them come vacuum sealed and they work but you know what if their location before wasn't uh very dry so um we do have the the silica gel packet in there so um that's good to keep the moisture out um always love to hang on to those and i throw those into my my storage bins i've got some seal tight plastic tubs and i just you know, every time I get a new roll, throw those in there. Um, keep pulling the moisture out of those containers. Keep my filament nice and, and dry. So let's break the seal. And then uh, we're going to get ready to do some prints. Maybe I'll do a time lapse here or before and after or during the print kind of kind of video shots. We'll, we'll check it out. really liking that spool though I must say um, it actually looks um, looks nice and slick which is kind of cool so it's nice and smooth on the inside which uh, would definitely help um, spool easier a couple of the rolls I've got actually I just have a roll right now I'm I'm running that um, it's rough and there's actually some plastic bumps in there and uh, yeah that could really screw things up so um, yeah uh, I'm kind of looking forward to using it all and uh, and having the spooled <laughs> kind of afterwards to uh, do things with. Uh, we do have the um, 
the holders here for um, your spool once you, you start going. Um, yep, it is in one of these to start, so you don't have to hunt for that. You know, looks good, looks white um, as advertised, but uh, yeah, let's see how it prints. I'm curious to see what the, the temperature of 185 will do. I, I haven't done anything that low. Uh, I'm typically not a person that um, does the, the temperature towers um, that, that you'll see on forums and other things. I just kind of, um, you know, kind of split the difference and start from there. If it looks good, it looks good. Um, if stringing's happening or, or under extrusion or, or something's happening, then I adjust that. But um, I always kind of shoot from the middle, but I'm kind of curious to see what happens at that low. It doesn't make it much better. So um, I do currently have one of the prints in my um, in my lineup that I do sell that is um, that is all white. So this will be a great test for this. Um, I'm going to get it loaded and uh, take it from there. And we're off. Got her loaded up into my Prusa Mini. We're gonna run it here. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, um, once this finishes out of bed level, I'm gonna put it down to 185. We've got the time-lapse camera going. See how that goes, because it's gonna take, this is a four hour print. In four hours, I'm not gonna be here, so um, we'll kind of follow up when I um, get back. We'll go ahead and let it uh, get started, and I'm going to tune in. So the printer just commanded to go to 215, so we want to drop that down. We want to drop down that nozzle to 185. There we go. Oh, we're starting to lay down. Scratch patch here, and then we're going to get to it. I'll let it go for uh, a couple passes here. We'll take a look, make sure nothing's going wrong, and then um, we'll then queue up the time lapse next here. So, this item does have a, um, a small skirt around it, there's four legs on it. So, we'll do four little skirts here, and then it'll actually uh, print the item. So far, it seems to be going down well, even at 185. While this is taking place, let's go over it and scan over here to that fancy looking spool again. Do we hear a little clicking? I do think that temp may be a little low. So, hey, let's bump it up and see what happens, see if we kind of clear that a little bit. I go back up to my 215. Yeah, I believe we're a little too low. So, hey, unfortunately, um, I'm going to have to stop this and um, kind of pull out and redo. Right. So, attempt number two, we tried at 185. That seemed to be um, a little too cool to get uh, things flowing out the nozzle correctly. Here, we're going to give it a shot right in the middle of, uh, of the sticker recommendation at uh, 215 and we're about ready for takeoff here. So here we go. is looking much better. We can, I can kind of see in the um, before that things were looking a little a little thin there. We just couldn't extrude quite uh, as well. I'll let this put down a couple um, little skirts here and then we'll take a look. Yeah, looking pretty good now. 
So we got some nice skirts laid down here for my item. Once these four are laid, we'll actually officially start taking off with the print. A nice little thing too here I've noticed on um, slicing with um, Prusa Slicer on my Prusa. Um, it kind of still puts this um, brim around before it does the skirts. That kind of hold those steady. In case you're having sticking issues, it kind of still holds the whole print together. So a really cool thing. Um, this print kind of builds a bridge from these legs up. You know, it's just an added uh, structure there to keep things together. All right, just finishing up the fourth skirt here on my print, and then uh, we'll, we'll take off. So I think it already did the last corner there, filled it in, and we're moving on. First layer is about done. Cool. Now I believe we're going to our our second layer here, and I believe we are. It goes much quicker after that first layer is down. Again, this is a four-hour print. We're going to go ahead and let it uh, do its thing. I've got the time lapse on. We'll check it out uh, when it's done. Cool. Just checking in here. We are about um, an hour and 45 minutes in on the print. Have a little light stringing. I did uh, drop the temperature down a little bit, so I went from the 215 down to 205, and uh, so things are looking good. Um, yeah, this light stringing is nothing here. That's I mean, it was kind of doing that before because of the the bridging. So um, there's the status. The time lapse is still going, so we'll take a look when it's done. And here's the finished product, folks. Looking good. Very uh, comparable to the other ones I've done on other filaments. Um, <clears throat> earlier on, I saw a couple of these little tiny stringing hairs. These are, I mean, this is so fine. This is, it's not stringing, it's peach fuzzing. <laughs> um, I did change the temperature down a little bit, as I said previously. Um, as I started seeing that going on, but uh, yeah, it does spring a little uh, lower temp on the lower side of the um, the recommendation uh, 185 was too low for me. So we stuck at 205 um, It's done looks good uh, Break off my little skirts here on that But um, yeah, it looks very good Successful so I'm going to give it a, a couple more shots and um, print a couple more of these. going to do multiple at a time, you know, see if um, I can get it dialed in, uh, less stringing between the two prints, because usually that happens. Um, so um, there it is, looking good, looking solid. Um, this is really a, a rough draft, as you can see. It's um, My layer lines are uh, still kind of thick on it, but, um, but it's all in all, it's comparable to all of my other filament. All right, and wrapping up here with this rep wrapper white filament, I printed a few of these teeth that I can make here. They're uh, business card holders, and this is one that I have created before. So, kind of comparing the two um, to this other filament I was using, I actually really like the more pure white color of this. This has kind of got like a bluish green tint and you can see through it a little bit so I really like that. Um, I think I will use the rest of this spool uh, to create some more of these. Um, and again in the beginning we did have some really light, I mean so super light stringing. Um, it really didn't even matter. It just they kind of wiped right off. Um, he said I did have to take the, the filament down. I, I normally run at a 215 
uh, and I dropped it down to um, initially 185 uh, per request. That was that wasn't cutting it. Uh, 205, 205 is where I, I kept it at. So it does go a little lower uh, than what I'm used to with other filaments. Um, all in all, pretty good. I mean, the quality is. Um, is very similar to what I've had before, maybe a touch better, uh, but I definitely like the color. More of a pure white, uh, not as translucent as some of the others I've had. So, um, yeah, good stuff. Check it out on um, Amazon. Uh, I did see that they also have a, a rainbow colored. I do um, often print um, like rainbow color items. Sorry for the mess, but um, yeah, I'm definitely going to give... Um, a roll of that rainbow filament a try so check out up below in the description for a link to find them on amazon and their website um thank you uh rep rapper for sending me a roll to check out um i enjoyed it it was a little um iffy at first but we got that temperature sorted out um so hey thanks much for watching